30 years ago, a disease appeared seemingly out of nowhere and killed thousands of people across the world. The first cases of AIDS caused by HIV were reported by the CDC in June 1981. It took about a decade to really understand what it was that we were up against. During that time, a lot of people died. And it was a general rule of thumb that everyone who got HIV and AIDS ultimately died from the disease. Dr. Michael Sag is the director of the UAB Center for AIDS Research. He has been at the forefront of the fight against AIDS and says it has come a long way to where those now infected can get into treatment and live a normal lifespan. But he says while getting to this point was a challenge, there are many more mountains to climb. I think over the next 30 years, we have two major challenges. The first is creating a cure where we get rid of long-lived cells that are infected, and the second is prevention. Prevention is a sentiment strongly encouraged by Dr. James Raper, the director of a comprehensive outpatient health care facility for those living with HIV called the 1917 Clinic at UAB. While we want to be sure that people know that they can live a good life if they have HIV and not become despondent or in despair, we still have to make every effort to keep people from getting infected. You know, this is not an easy life. Anyone with HIV will tell you that having HIV is not an easy life. And so people need to do everything they can to not get infected to begin with. Raper has been with the clinic for 16 years and says they are increasingly facing difficulties with no end in sight. I think that the 1917 clinic uh, being a state-of-the-art um, uh, clinic in the United States um, is, is challenged by the fact that we have a resource that many, many people want and uh, we're happy to provide that, but there are limitations to how much we can provide. Not a lot of people are choosing to go into HIV medicine right now. We have to have funding to uh, expand our services and we also have to have funding to pay for medications. And those are the challenges we face over the next 10 to 30 years.